come due tomorrow. Still very pregnant and got some updates for you guys. there welcome back to lima bean living if you guys are new here my name is emily welcome to my little motherhood channel where i take care of all things mom i am 39 weeks and six days pregnant today as i'm filming and i'm due tomorrow got to see the doctor today uh, last week i was totally closed like 80 percent effaced today i'm two to three centimeters dilated which is definitely progress still 80 percent effaced and i'm really hoping for a v-back the hope is that I go into spontaneous or natural labor, and um, if not, then we're going to have a scheduled C-section on the 13th, which wouldn't be that bad because Aubrey was born on the 13th, so not of January, but like that's my favorite number. I'd actually be kind of happy with that, but I really do want to be back, so the hope is that I'll go into labor soon. The reason why they can't induce me is because I've had a C-section. And there's a higher risk of uterine rupture if they do like the induction process. So that's going to be totally like off the books. Like it's not going to happen. So those, those are kind of our two options here. It's also worth mentioning that uh, in my appointment today, you know, Doc was like feeling my belly. And he did say that Jack didn't feel like he was super big, which is definitely like a plus at 36 weeks, he was measuring in the 97th percentile. And then just recently, I think it was like 83rd percentile. So he definitely didn't like grow at the same like rate, I guess, over the last couple of weeks. So that was definitely a blessing and gives me a lot of hope that I can actually, you know, have a VBAC. I do have an appointment to go see my doctor on Monday. But I'm really hoping God blesses us with like me going into labor either tomorrow or Friday so that Juan can not have to take a day off. We're hoping to save his paternity leave for later on like in the year just because of the way it's working out with his employment. So yeah, I'm kind of hoping he doesn't have to like take sick days and all that stuff. So if I go into labor tomorrow, which is Thursday for me, my due date, or on Friday... Um, that would probably be ideal. One of the last times that I went in, I did get some like 4D ultrasound photos. So I'll make sure to share those with you guys here. Jack does look very similar to Aubrey. So it'll be really cool to see like what he looks like, you know, when he's out of me. As far as like my health goes and Jack's health, everything's looking good. My blood pressure's good. Jack's heart rate is good. My ankles aren't super swollen. So it's looking to be a much more positive experience than when I was pregnant with Aubrey, which if you guys haven't seen my little three-part series of like why I was terrified to be pregnant again, I explain it all there. And because I don't have like that much fluid in my legs right now, like, you know, we're not too worried about my heart, but we'll see after the delivery if I swell up again and see if I need to worry about peripartum cardiomyopathy. So that's still a concern, but... Not a major one right now, so I'm very thankful and blessed regarding that. The other major update is with our house. We got some drywall work done. Um, you know, there's there's definitely been progress, not as much as we were hoping. I think we're hoping to see a little bit more done, at least by this part of the process. I think it's looking to be done, like, beginning of March now. So things keep getting pushed back, which is a disappointment, but at the same time, that means that we'll be surrounded by family longer with Jack being here. And I'll probably need that help anyway. So it'll be a blessing. I am excited to like get into our own space. But at the same time, like I know how hard the first couple months is with a newborn. I kind of feel like I blacked it out like the first month with Aubrey because it was that difficult for me. So I will try my best to document as much as I can in that first couple months and share it with you guys and let you know how I'm doing. I'm really concerned about postpartum depression, but I am open to getting back on my antidepressants sooner rather than later. So I'm hoping that plays like a bigger part in my mental healing in addition to all the physical healing that has to take place 
post-birth. Just so you guys know what to keep an eye out for. I have been filming like a lot of our family favorite recipes like as the Christmas season has been going by. So I will be posting a number of those when either I'm in labor or have just given birth and just kind of need a little bit of a break, you know, from filming and editing and all the work that goes into making these videos for you guys. So stay tuned for some of our family favorite recipes. But as soon as I can, I will get you guys up like a 24 hours with a newborn or, you know, something like that type of video to introduce baby Jack. I'm hoping if I have the energy, because, you know, I'll be the one going through labor. I'm hoping to kind of document that process or at least give little updates as I go in between contractions or whatever. So I have goals. I hopefully will meet them. But if not, I hope you guys understand that it's it's already a big deal as it is. And documenting it with a video is a little bit more stressful. So hopefully you'll understand if I don't get around to reaching that goal. But, you know, I can at least set the goal for now. But that's kind of like the big updates for our family right now. Um, I'm feeling very stretched out in my belly. After my doctor's appointment today, I feel like I can't walk. So that's not really fun. But at the same time, I kind of wish I was a kangaroo and could take Jack out when I want and put him back in when I don't want the extra responsibility. So I'm just kind of trying to embrace as awkward and uncomfortable as I feel right now, like I'm trying to embrace this time with like just Aubrey and not having to tend to all of Jack's needs throughout the day. So I'm trying to like soak it in because once he comes out, I can't take that back. Can't put him back up. So yeah, I'm trying to enjoy this process. But I'd like to thank you guys for watching and sending prayers my way for a V back. I know many of you guys have been praying for me and that really, really means a lot and I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you are new. I'd love to have you stick around and catch all of, you know, the craziness that my life is going to become in the next, hopefully, few days. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.